So at this point, I hope I've convinced you that the gradient is totally crucial to machine learning. It gives us the direction of steepest ascent and we can use that for optimization. But why do we take that as a given? Why do we think the gradient is the direction of steepest ascent? To convince ourselves of that, we're gonna take a few minutes to talk about directional derivatives. Imagine a function that takes a vector as an input. Here I'm illustrating such a function on R2. Now imagine that you're standing somewhere in the input space and you're looking in some direction. The slope of the surface in that direction is the directional derivative from that point. You can think of this as kind of taking a slice out of the function and then just looking at the scalar function defined only in that slice. Here I'm illustrating such a slice with a blue plane through the orange surface. In the bottom right, the orange line is the scalar function along the slice. The blue line is its derivative. It's important to realize that these functions are defined in terms of a scalar u and d is the direction. To formalize this, let's first remind ourselves of the definition of the derivative of a scalar function. We generalize this to the partial derivative for functions that take vectors as input. Now one way we could talk about the partial derivative is via the limit h where h is scaling the standard basis vector for that dimension. Thus we can think of a partial derivative as being a special case of a directional derivative that's using the standard basis vectors. So more generally, we don't have to use the standard basis for our directions. We could use any unit vector d. That gives us a limit-based definition of the directional derivative, which I'm denoting here as f prime sub d. Crucially, the directional derivative can be viewed as the inner product between the gradient and the direction of interest. Now this gives us the tools that we need in order to answer the original question. Why is the gradient the direction of steepest ascent? First, we need to be clear about what we mean by a direction of steepest ascent. I'm gonna define it as the direction in which the directional derivative is largest. So we can formalize this as an argmax over unit vectors. Let's write out that directional derivative as the inner product with the gradient. Now we can write the inner product between two vectors as the product of their magnitudes and the cosine of the angle between them. So here, that means we're maximizing the product of the magnitude of d, the magnitude of the gradient, and the cosine of the angle between the direction and the gradient. Now, of course, the magnitude of d is one by construction, and the magnitude of the gradient doesn't depend on d. Cosine theta will be maximized at theta equals zero, and then it will equal one. And theta will equal zero if d points in the direction of the gradient. So the direction of steepest ascent is the unit vector that points in the same direction as the gradient. 